When honor is bestowed on a person, it's usually in recognition for an achievement. And here at the British Council in Lagos, there's a special person being honored today. This crowd is here to celebrate what began in faraway Scotland in the United Kingdom. Wale Ogutoku is a Nigerian playwright, stage and film director, as well as a theatre administrator and newspaper columnist. The artistic director of the Renegade Theatre, Wale Ogutoku, and his crew, at just their second appearance, received the Mervyn Starter Spirit of the Fringe Award for his play, Tarzan Monologues, at the 2014 Edinburgh Festival Fringe. The event kicks off with a reading by Scottish poet Tom Powell. I read because Mr. Bruce took us down into the pit and left us with the swinging pendulum. I read because I only have one life but infinite ways to live it. I read because the space we share now is not the only space and the time we live in now needs mind and projected beyond the miracle of the moment. Thank you. And then the actors reenact the performance that earned them the award from the world's largest art festival. She offered her honor. He honored her offer. And all night long they stayed up offering and honoring. Bang, 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 bala Bang, 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 bang. Now who they enter for mommy, Sabuto? Daddy, oh, daddy, daddy, where you go for Johnny? Somebody enter for mommy's house. And the sit up for mommy's bed. Best in push mommy. Mommy push best in. Best in push mommy. Small time, money, money. It's been great and then coming back home, this reception by British Council, it just makes everything worth the while that at least, even though there was no support going, coming back, winning that award has made us very recognizable and at least opened us for 2015 Edinburgh Field Festival. And for those celebrating the lawyer turned playwright, the accolades are justified. It will be interesting to see many more people who are as committed as Wole is, to see them strive towards getting Nigerian theatre to international, I don't know, international stages for them to be performed in, in different places. Speaking on how it all began, Wale expresses his appreciation. We're hoping that we can continue to show the best of Nigeria to the world in the future. We hope next year we can take more than one team to the UK more than one Nigerian company to the UK to show different aspects, different facets of our theatre, of our arts and culture. And to, in some ways, the theatre practitioners that go abroad become ambassadors to show this side. It's not always the bad news, it's not always the poverty, it's not always the corruption you hear sometimes about people writing Yahoo Yahoo letters. There's a lot going on there, a lot of hard-working strong Nigerians out there and so that's what that's what theatre should be doing we should tell our messages tell our own stories let them hear our own stories let them see our culture and tradition and so I hope I hope that theatre will continue to expand the horizons and I hope we'll find support for those things we want to do. He has been a door opener for Nigeria and I believe that a lot more things will happen for Nigeria to Nigeria because of Wale Ogutokum's exploits at the French festival. He's a trailblazer um, He's, he's done a, a lot of firsts, and I seriously wish him the very best. Honor is given to whom it's due, and Wale Ogutokun sure deserves his moment in the spotlight. Johnson Ojekere was born in 1930 in Obiomwe Mai in Owan local government area in Edo State. He worked and lived in Ketu, Lagos at the age of 20 
He pursued a future in photography, which was out of the ordinary for people in Nigeria, especially those in his village. Cameras were not in high demand and were of low priority as they were considered a luxury. However, Ohio J.K. was passionate about photography and in 1950 bought a modest Brownie D camera without flash and had a friend teach him the fundamentals of photography. Ohio J.K. started out as a darkroom assistant in 1954 at the Ministry of Information in Ibadan. After Nigeria gained its independence in 1960, Ojekere pursued his first job as a photographer. In 1951, he became a studio photographer under Steve Rhodes for television house Ibadan. From 1963 until 1975, Ojekere worked in publicity at West Africa Publicity in Lagos. During his time in publicity, specifically in the year 1967, he joined the Nigerian Art Council. In 1968, he began one of his largest projects as he documented Nigerian hairstyles. This was a hallmark of Ojekere's work and he had printed approximately a thousand pictures of different African women's hair. A large selection of Ojekere's work was included in the Arsenal section of the 55th Venice Biennale de Art in Italy. J.D. Ohai Ojekere passed on February the 2nd this year. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. We've reached the home stretch on this week's edition of the show. And I know you want to keep talking to us probably about the pictures you've seen or what you want to see on the show. But you can hit us online. You know all our platforms. And it's always a pleasure to hear from you. And always remember that we live in an image-driven society. So keep adding color to the world. I'm Melinda Akinami. Have a lovely day.